everybody, let me share with you two things, one which you'll probably care about and one which you probably won't care about, and I don't know which is going to be which for you. Um, it's going to be like a metaphor. A metaphor of how in life, as in peanut butter, you got to take the crunchy with the smooth. It's going to be a terrible metaphor for a number of reasons. Uh, first of all, because when you buy peanut butter, it's either crunchy or smooth. Anyway, um, I just came back. I didn't just come back. I came back a few hours ago, but I've been on the internet since then. But you know what? No regrets. Uh, and uh, I got a, a biosafety toothbrush. This is at Family Mart. 7-Eleven is the big convenience store chain in Thailand, as in other parts of Asia. I think they're owned by Japan now. And by Japan, I mean Japanese people. But Family Mart is also owned by Japanese people and is the competitor. Anyway, biosafety toothbrush. I can't think of anything funny to say about a biosafety toothbrush, but I like the name. And I'm amused by the name. Uh, hand soap to wash my one, my one hand that, that works properly. The other hand, I'm just washing with, like, antiseptic wipes. It's very, it's very nursing home. I don't know if they use a lot of antiseptic wipes in nursing homes, but I imagine they might. Anyway, so I, I bathe my one hand like, eh. Um, I'm ready to lose this, I gotta tell you. Uh, Chocolate. Mangosteen soap. This is the basics, all the basics, you know? Have you ever had a mangosteen? A mangosteen is a delicious fruit. Let me see. There's a picture of it right here. That's a mangosteen. There's also a picture of it right here. Where's my mangosteen? There's the mangosteen. I'm not going to bring it any closer for you, but I got all the good fruits there. A mangosteen, basically, is to a mango. I know this is what you're wondering. Mangosteen is to mango as pineapple is to apple meaning that they're not the same at all. Anyway. Um, and uh, the second to last thing, the penultimate thing. I also want to say pent-ultimate, but it, there's no T there. The penultimate thing is that uh, I, got, I got Darlie double-action toothpaste. And Darlie wasn't always called Darlie. You guys may know this, or you may not. Let me see if you can see that guy there. They changed the logo a little bit uh, years ago, but not that much. You can probably still guess that this dude used to be and still is a, a uh, minstrel. Like a dude, like a, a white guy dressed in blackface. Yes, yes siree. And um, so, <laughs> uh, Darley is the new name. The old name was Darkie. Darky toothpaste. So you can have white teeth just like a dude in blackface. Anyway, um, I don't know if it's meant, if it was meant to represent a dude in back blackface or a black guy who is represented just as looking like a guy in blackface because. But either way. They changed the name in English, um, in Asian countries where they still sell this. They did not change the name in Chinese. They sell this in China, and it's just called Heiren, which means black man. Black man toothpaste. It's still, still called that in China. Anyway, um, and in Thai, it's just called Dali. Oh, I'm sorry, there's a Dali, like Salvador Dali. Anyway. Uh, that's that. The, the ultimate thing, ultimate thing that I bought is a harmonica. And it's a C harmonica. And I bought it for 120 baht. And 120 Thai baht is approximately $4. This is a $4 C harmonica. And it's a hero harmonica. Yeah. And it's made in Shanghai, China. Or it's from Shanghai, China. I don't, I don't know uh, where it's made. And... Um, and yeah, check it out. So this is why this is why I got this because the guitar is not. I'm learning. I'm still practicing one-handed guitar. Eh, it's okay, you know. It's going all right. Like I did with Good Night Irene. You can look for that. But um, 
It's not satisfactory like strumming. Anyway, not satisfying or satisfactory. Uh, I'm learning how to play this. So this is day one of learning how to play a harmonica. Let, right off the bat, I don't know how to bend notes. Bending notes is what you do to get the notes in between the scale that the harmonica is in. Flat notes and accidentals, what would be accidentals in a written note piece of music. Um, I can't do that. I don't even know how to do that. Bending notes, I think, much like playing the didgeridoo and some other things, is one of those skills that's a little fiddly. Throat singing, too. Hard to understand and hard to explain what's really happening physically or perhaps physiologically. And everyone you ask has, like, they think they have the greatest way of explaining it. Or they just don't even try, and it's annoying. But it's annoying, too, when people are like, Oh, I'll tell you how to do this. I'll tell you how to roll the R in Spanish. I know how to roll the R in Spanish. And it's like that, you know? Their explanations basically never help. Maybe you're lucky if they help a little bit. Something makes sense to you. Two stories I'm thinking of, and it's my channel. I'm just going to tell you. I don't even care. I just skip ahead. I'm going to play harmonica later. One is from Wisdom of the Zen Masters, and that's an awesome comic book, and it's awesome. And it looks a lot like this because it was written by the same guy, or it was illustrated. No, and written by the same guy. He's Taiwanese, and he's just amazing. Uh, tai Zhejong. And uh, they write it weird here because it's Taiwanese romanization, but Tai, tai Zhejong, like C-A-I. Anyway, he is great. Roots of Wisdom is Vegetable Roots Discourse, basically, which is... I don't know why I happen to have these two books on my bed, but I do. Um, maybe because they're both awesome, but uh, they happen to be here. Um, Vegetable Roots Discourse uh, by Tai Guntan and... It, this is based on uh, that other book of Chinese philosophy and, and illustrated and made, I, I think, personally, more awesome. Wisdom of the Zen Masters by the same guy, and it follows the, the descendants, the, the descent, the lineage, is what I'm looking for, of the Zen patriarchs in China. One of them. There's a student. He achieves enlightenment, eventually. The Zen stories have a, a lot of people instantly attaining enlightenment. That's something that happens in Zen that doesn't happen uh, very much at all in all forms of uh, Buddhism. But Zen, yeah. And, and I forget all the names. But there are two schools, competing schools. They're not adversarial in that they don't, they don't teach. Uh, schools of... of Buddhism, I mean, an actual, I mean actual schools, an actual place where you will go and meditate and learn from a master. Uh, and these two guys are both masters. One of their students, the student of one of them, he's learning and it's not getting through. He's an advanced student, but he is not progressing further. And his master says to him, go to what's-his-name's school. What's-his-name is kind of my competitor in, in a certain way, but there's a lot of respect here. We're both Buddhists, and you know what? Go to his school. And the student does. And he goes there, and he gets it. And I don't remember whether this was... He has a sudden intuition, or he actually has such a sudden intuition that he attains enlightenment, Whichever it was, he says later on to this new master, when I was at old master's place, I was like a mosquito on an ox. Love this metaphor. It's a simile. I was like a mosquito on an ox trying to pierce the skin. That was me trying to attain wisdom. I was like a mosquito on an ox trying to pierce his thick hide and I couldn't do it. But with you, right in there. Anyway. Um, totally off topic. Uh, what was that? That was it. 
I guess I only remembered one story to tell you. So that's it. I will send you... If you've, if you've made it this far through my rambling, you get a prize. I will send you anything you want that is available for purchase in Bangkok. Okay? If you can tell me the name of this song that I'm going to play the tune to right now. If it's more than, let's say, 300 baht, whatever you want, then... I will purchase it and send it to you with your own money. But if it's under 300 baht, I will buy it for you and send it to you. Either way, I'm going to buy it for you and send it to you. Uh, if you can... I've done this song on Rise Up, on the Rise Up Singing Project before, so it's a video on here somewhere. One of my favorite songs to play on guitar. I'm going to do it as well as I can on this. So... Oh yeah, I can't bend notes, didgeridoo, and I had a story about rolling the R. It's a stupid story, forget it. I can't bend notes, and I know that you're supposed to practice playing only one note at a time on this thing, instead of the sort of triads that it naturally plays. Um, I'm not very good at that yet. Here goes, this is day one, okay? Guess the song. It's one of those, I can laugh and keep playing the guitar, but not this, breath control. Chorus goes like this. It ends like... Oh, wow. Maybe you can do that. If you know the song, I... You know what? If you know the song, I think that'll be enough for you to get it. I'll send you whatever you want. I'll go buy it. I don't, I don't care if it's, like, something, like, embarrassing to buy, you know? What, what's embarrassing to buy when you're an adult? But, um... Uh, um, forget it. Just tell me. We're having mailing fun here with traditional post, and uh, I'm going to get out of here and go to sleep and then spend a lot more time on the internet tomorrow. Good night.